This is my bike. It's a 2019 Radon Swoop 8.0. Not only is this my first full suspension bike, it's the first brand new bike I've owned in about 25 years. This is a trail near my house and this set of steps intimidated me for months when I started riding first. And one day, using a combination of gravity and my own stupidity, I just rolled over them. And I didn't fall off. It turns out my suspension actually works. But I don't understand how it works, and I don't know what all the settings do. So I've made this video to look at my suspension front and back separately using slow motion to really see how it functions. This is the Rock Shock Lyric on the front fork. It has 170 millimeters of travel, and it has a charger damper with high speed compression and low speed compression. Four clicks of high speed and 19 clicks of low speed. For the first test, I turned all the settings down to zero, making it as soft as possible. I only ever do this on the roughest of trails, and what I found is that the suspension cycled up and down a lot. It was soft, but it was very active. For the second test, I turned the low speed all the way up and left high speed at zero. Um, this, aside from knocking over the camera, gave the same number of cycles and not much of a difference. For this test, I turned everything all the way on. It's hardest setting. I only ever use this for climbing, really steep technical sections, and it was hard. And the suspension only cycles nine times, so it's much less active on this setting. This is my usual setting. It's like vanilla, middle of the road, Goldilocks, halfway on each high speed and low speed. It's more active than hard, but less active than soft, and it tends to work. This is the rear suspension. It's a Rock Shark Monarch. There's 170 millimeters of travel at the rear of the bike. And it comes with three compression settings. There's min, medium, and firm. Using slow-mo to see how the rear shock reacts going over the steps has been really useful. I would only use this minimum setting for the roughest of terrain. And it's really active. You can feel the wheel bouncing around. This mid setting, uh, the halfway, is where I normally leave the rear shock for most trails. And it tends to work pretty well and you can see that there's one cycle fewer than the previous setting. I only use the firm setting of the rear shock for steep climbs um, and it totally showed up when we went over the steps because this was rough, it really felt hard and the wheel was bouncing off off the surface. So what did I learn from this? Well it turns out that the compression settings don't just make the shock harder and softer, they actually reduce the number of cycles the front and the rear shock go through when they go over rough ground. The rear shock in particular doesn't track the ground too well if it's set to the hardest setting. It bounces around like nobody's business. So I think I'll just leave it in soft or medium. And I really wouldn't advise filming your rear shock this way. The camera gets in the way of your feet on the pedals. Thank you for watching and please hit subscribe. I'm making new videos every week.